disk degeneration. Um, so it's a bit of a vague catch-all term that basically translates to there's some damage to a disk, but we don't know why. So if someone says the word disk degeneration to you, you need to translate that as, you know, I can see you've got some damage to your disk. I either don't know enough, I don't care enough to find out what type of damage it is and how it's been created. Because any damage to a disk doesn't just appear because it's a Tuesday, uh, there's going to be a reason behind it. So that's why we need to understand the different types of damage that we can have on the disk. And then we can sort of work backwards to work out how that damage is pre being created. Because if we don't have that level of understanding, there's always a danger that you're going to keep continuing to do the things that are creating that damage. That's going to stop you from healing that disc damage, especially if it's a bulge or herniation, and kind of keep you in that endless circle of pain. So when we talk about disc damage rather than deterioration, we can class it as things such as, you know, bulges and herniations are probably the, the most common. We can also have annular tears, and we can have things like end plate fractures as well. And they're all very specific types of damage that are created by very specific types of mechanics, movement mechanics and posture mechanics that we have. And there's also very specific tests that we can run as well, provocation tests, for example, that will help us zero in on exactly what's going on. So those who familiar with the work of Professor Jim McGill will understand the importance of, a, of at least trying to obtain a precise diagnosis. So we need to understand exactly what type of damage is there so we can understand how it's been created. Again, if you don't have that level of understanding and you continue to do the things that have created that damage, you're going to be stuck in that endless cycle of, you know, the back coming good, going bad, and the damage getting, you know, to that disc becoming worse and worse over time and not better. Because if we remove those aggravators, those causes of the damage, your disc damage will actually heal itself. But again, it's subject to you taking away the causes of that damage. And the first step to that is understanding what type of damage you've got, specifically, and then come and working backwards and understanding the movement and posture habits that have created that damage.